The earliest archaeological identified Christian church is a house church, the Dura Europus Church, founded between 233 and 256. So this is approximately, you know, over a hundred years, well over a hundred years from the Apostle Paul and John, who wrote the last book of the Bible, which is Revelation, which was in around 90 AD. Now, here's another interesting fact that kind of fits into this pattern with these uh, buildings that we call churches being built. Constantine converted to Christianity in 312 at the Battle of Milvian Bridge. So, not too long after, just a hair after they decided to have these buildings and call them churches, then we have Constantine, who mixed paganism in which with Christianity in 312, what, 50, 60, 70 years after the building started. And I see this pattern in that you need these buildings to pack the people in, to structure them in this authoritarian type of way, to brainwash them, to bring in idolatry and paganism right into them. And in order to do that, you have to have this control mechanism. That's what it is. That's what these buildings are. It's a control mechanism. It's traditions of men. They might as well be Freemason lodges. It's the same idea. You're programmed to go to this place at a certain time and do certain things and then leave. That's all it is. That's all the buildings are there for. It's just like everything else. The school the the jobs everything you're structured to go there certain time do certain things and then leave it's a brainwashing system and that's all i see with with church buildings see i even just naturally call them church buildings but really they didn't come in till geez way after way after christ you know hundreds of years after christ and so this is an interesting pattern to me because of what we see going on. The type of people that this atmosphere creates. Not all people, not all people that go to the buildings come out confused and self-righteous or rotten or unconverted or spiritually immature. Not all, but a lot of times this is the case. People find themselves in just another structured authoritarian military type system that is just brainwashing them into doing into just going through motions it's it's just going through motions that that's all it really becomes not all people but a lot of people